hit that subscribe button down below and click the bell notification so you won't be... No. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Kit Kat. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, we are going to be talking skincare tips. But before we proceed to this video, please don't forget to like, share, hit that subscribe button down below, and click the bell notifications para updated kayo every time I post. I know a lot of you guys have really been requesting sa skincare routine ko, but unfortunately, nagbabalik ECQ ang Cebu City. Nagbabalik enhanced community quarantine due to the rising number of naging positibo sa COVID-19. So, I believe it can wait, no? The skincare items can wait. Unahin muna natin yung safety natin. But, I've made this video especially for you, for those individuals that gusto ma-perfect yung skincare routine nila. So, I've named it my skincare tips and practices because I believe this is the basic foundation. Kung wala ka nito o hindi mo alam ang mga paraan na ito, hindi mo pa rin mapaperfect yung skincare routine mo or yung journey mo towards a healthier skin. So, I've made this especially for you. So, please keep on watching. Guys, insert ko lang pala real quick. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the 1,229 subscribers. It really means a lot to me. And my brother is also thankful for all of you who supported our channel. As in, kinikilig ako. <laughs> thank you so much! As in, hindi nyo lang alam gano'n to ka big deal sa aming dalawa. Because it all started with a joke and now, really, it's finally happening. We're doing vlogs na for you. And I hope you would continue to support us. I share with you din sa mga friends niyo or sa mga kakilala niyo hindi pa naka subscribe because I'll be doing a giveaway real soon. So, nag survey ako, nagpa survey ako sa via Facebook and via Instagram. And most of you picked 100 pesos worth of load. So, siguro I'll be picking 5 winners of 100 pesos worth of load. And I'll be doing it siguro sa YouTube Live. So, abang abang lang kayo. And thank you so much, everyone. I feel really flattered actually sa mga certain individuals like my friends, my titas, my teachers, etc. that would say na, Kat, ang ganda ng skin mo, you have clear skin. Thank you so much for the compliments. But, my journey towards my skin is not perfect. Just like you, nagkaroon din ako ng mga breakouts, nagkaroon ako ng mga pimples. Kasi I'm very exposed sa heat of the sun, sa dirt, dust, everything. Kasi nga, di ba, naka-field ako always. So, just like you, hindi naman talaga din perfect yung skin ko. Although, some of you might say or might hear na, ay, kaya pala maganda yung skin niyan kasi one for change siya or may lahing issue siya. I wanted to break that certain mentality or that certain statement kasi hindi porket na may lahing issue as in super smooth and flawless na hindi. May iba na may nime-maintain na skincare. May iba naman na may mga certain practices from their um, parents. So, I'll be showing you some of my practices and tips na I find it really useful. Kahit may lahing in check ka o wala, o kahit pure Filipino, I believe na itong mga certain practices ko or mga tips, you may, you may have heard of it sa internet, sa mga celebrities. But, sasabihin ko lahat na nalalaman ko right now. So first things first, always wear sunscreen wherever you go. May it be your indoors or outdoors, wear your sunscreen. As in, i-emphasize ko talaga to, kaya na ginawa ko siyang number one. Kahit na paulit-ulit nyo na naririnig to, i-emphasize ko talaga ang importance ng sunscreen, of course, to protect us from the UVA, UVB rays na nagkukos ng wrinkles natin, ng freckles, or worse comes to worse in the long run, skin cancer. So, ganun ka-important na you always wear your sunscreen sa face, sa arms, sa legs. Na-appreciate ko lang siya actually ngayon kasi Mondays to Saturdays, I drive. Tapos, yun na nga ang bilis kong nangitim. And, napapansin ko may nakakaroon na ako ng mga folds sa forehead ko. So, napaka-importante talaga ng sunscreen. And, always choose a sunscreen that has higher SPF, 50+. plus Kasi, mas magiging protected yung skin nyo. And never forget to reapply every after two hours. Number two is that, especially for the females or for the individuals who love makeup, don't permit yourself to sleep while you still have makeup on your face. 
So, kung alam nyo, uh, siguro sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam, way back during college, or sa mga college days ko pa, I used to jumble my pageantry, my studies, and pagiging working student ko. So, oftentimes, umuwi ako sa bahay na ng 3 to 4 a.m. kakagaling na dance or pageant kasama ng mama ko. And my beauty gurus are my parents. So, si papa ko talaga, akin parang siya yung in-charge sa face ko, tapos si mama sa in-charge sa legs ko at sa body ko. My papa would really not agree na matutulog lang ako na hindi ko nabubura or na-erase yung makeup ko because makeup would clog your pores. It will worsen kung may mga ongoing acne man kayo or magkakaroon kayo ng heavy pimples. So, I find time, I really find time, kahit na inaantok na ako, kahit pagod na pagod na ako, ine-erase ko talaga completely before I go to sleep. Number three, separate your towel for your body and for your face. So, ine-emphasize ko talaga to na kailangan separate yung dalawa. Kasi, imagine, yung ginagamit mong pamunas na towel mo for your body, pinupunas mo yan sa singit, pinupunas mo yan sa kibikili mo, pinupunas mo yan sa hair mo, and pinupunas mo yan sa lower parts mo. And imagine, kung gano'n yun, yan yung gagawin yung face towel. So, ibang level of bacteria talaga ang makakatch ng face mo. Kaya, starting today, kung hindi nyo pa yan tinapractice, please practice it now. Kasi iba talaga yung nakakapit ng mga dirt and mga dumi sa body natin aside from face. So, especially if you're suffering from severe acne sa face mo, please, 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 for hygiene purposes talaga, isa pa rin mo yung dalawang yan. Fourth is don't touch your face with your hands unless if you're washing your face. So you might say na ang arte mo naman, Kat, my goodness, or ano ba yan, ang, ang, ang OA naman. Guys, ang mga kamay natin actually, madami ang hinahawakan. Hinahawakan natin ang mga doorknob, hinahawakan natin ang mga car keys natin, hinahawakan mo natin ang wallet, yung cellphone, yung ballpen, lahat. Ang dami natin hinahawakan using our hands. And imagine, every everything or every gamit na hinahawakan mo, may certain level of dirt yan at germs. And ginaganon mo sa mukha mo. So, i-absorb yan ng skin mo. Kaya nga minsan, mag-wonder kayo na bakit ganon, na bakit nagpapimpos ako, ang healthy naman na lifestyle ko. I mean, some of you might wonder. So, usually, dahil yan sa palm of our hands, so never ever nyo akong nakikita. If you know me so well, hindi nyo nakikita na asin ginaganon ko talaga yung hands ko. Sometimes, kung feeling ko may makatina na portion, ginaganon ko lang sa opposite side of my hand. I never really touch it directly sa fingers ko kasi I know how dirty my hands are. Fifth is that I change my pillow sheets once a week. Kasi ang mga pillow sheets natin, ginagrab niya yung oil niya sa hair, yung minsan yung mga sweat, yung mga laway, my goodness, <laughs> ginagrab niya yan. So imagine kapag natutulog ka tapos yung face mo is nakatouch sa pillow sheets mo tapos let's say lang, hindi ka nagpapalit. Pinapalit mo na lang siya twice a month, thrice a month. So nag-build up yun ng bacteria which can cause also sa skin nyo ng mga heavy acne, heavy pimples. So always make sure to change your bed sheets or your pillow sheets once a week. Sixth is I don't prick my pimples. Minsan naaanoy ako to the point na ginagalaw ko siya, ginaganong ko siya. But never to a point na piniprick ko kasi pinapagalitan din ako ni Papa kapag nakikita niya ginagawa ako yun. Kasabi ng Papa ko, Wag mo yung galawin! <laughs> Wag mo yung galawin! Kasi sabi ni Ann Curtis, Wow! May reference siya! Nagbabasa kasi yung Papa ko ng mga magazines, you know, ano. Diba sinabi ko earlier na parang beauty guru ko din yung Papa ko aside from my mom. Kasi nagsistudy siya sa mga ways kung paano i-maintain ang clear skin, smooth skin. So yan, pinapagalitan niya ako kapag ginagalaw ko. So I never ever break my pimple. And I know most of you ginagawa yun. But please, um, I hope na ang um, gawin nyo na lang, instead of breaking it, just wash it with a mild soap or a cleanser para mawala siya. Eventually, mawawala talaga yan. Huwag nyo lang talagang i-break. Last but definitely not the least, always drink your water and have a balanced diet. So make sure to drink 8 glasses of water to keep yourself hydrated and the girl reflect in the skin nyo, mind you. And also, eat healthy, eat a lot of greens and a lot of fruits. Kasi of course, kapag ang kinakain nyo is always oily, nag girl reflect din yan sa skin nyo. So mag magkakaroon ng excess oils or secretion of excess oils 
sa face nyo. Kaya always stay healthy. Kasi kapag fit kayo, healthy kayo, and nga healthy rin yung foods ang ini-intake nyo, lumalabas din yan sa glow ng skin natin. And that wraps up for today's video. I hope na marami kayo natutunan from me. And at the same time, please don't forget to share sa mga friends nyo, parents, mga kamag-anak, sa mga teachers, sa mga kapitbahay nyo, sa mga jowa nyo, sa na all the jowa. <laughs> sa lahat na pwede nyo i-share, please do para sabay-sabay tayo towards the journey to having a healthier and more youthful looking skin. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!